All hands, full stop! Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. What is it you need? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Then it's now or never. Now. The genophage ends today. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. You spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow the diplomatic pressures of this war to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? No, I don't. The Krogan are too violent, but I don't have a choice here. Then allow me to offer you one. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from them. <sighs> Rex, it's Reap. The Reapers are already at the Hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in.
Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clans. <laughs> Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move! The enemy is approaching. Move forward. Don't let them get up here. Shepard, it's ugly over here. from the female. They're certainly relentless. More They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erdnot Reeve. Brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Salarians ends right now. As long as it involves a bullet in his head, time for some payback. Stand down, Reeve. The Solarian is with me. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I don't want to regret curing the genophage. Do you want this or not? I do. What about the rest of you? Ah! <laughs> Copy that, Artemek. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard out. Reeve isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Salarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. And now our planet is rubble. 
We'll need a better place to live. Any hint of the Krogan trying to expand again could raise alarms. My children aren't going to suffocate in this cesspool. I want them to witness a new age. A Krogan Empire. Rex. I'm not saying we won't ask first, but the Council can't expect us to stay here forever. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on her. Why are we stopping? Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. are bigger than I thought. What's going on up there? Get moving. This combustion manifold isn't going to last long. Let's get moving. What's the hold up? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. An airstrike isn't enough against the Reaper. We must join the fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We are going. Shepard! I've lost control! I can't pull up! No! Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves' truck made it out, too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the City of the Ancients. Likely a tremor. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure.
More tremors. That was more than a naturally occurring quake. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Kalros. Kalros, I would guess. Impressive. Likely not to scale, either. Perhaps we should leave this area. Krogan don't usually name Thresher Maws. This must be an unusual specimen. bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Daylight detected ahead. Curious. It was assumed that any notable location on Tachanka had been destroyed. Remnants of a failed species. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. Plant life was assumed dead in this ecosystem. You're looking at hope, all that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty, given a chance it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. And when we get there, vengeance will be mine. These ruins suggest Krogan civilization devolved at some point. I see only waste here. A civilization that destroyed what it had. More opportunity for a kill. It appears the Krogan were once more than just violent. I shot on the perimeter! Want to civilize. The station has been destroyed. The echo will never fail. They are doomed to repeat. right about Kalros. She's on the move. Yeah, we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's, What's happening? happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there right now. <clears throat> Stay alert. Like we got a 
Find it, and we'll pick you up there. We're a little preoccupied. Shepard, we'll try to shake this thing and find you. Pressure mark getting closer. Tell me something I don't know. Metal in truck, an excellent iron supplement for Mars diet. Threats like that explain why there's no such thing as weak Krogan. Or very many Krogan. And what is this place? It appears to be a memorial for fallen Krogan. I have the meat sight. Shepard, we've almost lost Kalros. Get down from there and we'll find you. What about Reeve? No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. We no longer possess the firepower to defeat a Reaper. Vengeance is the goal. Suicide is not. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. And I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, 
Galros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. We flew through the Omega-4 relay and survived. We can do this. That's the spirit, Shepard. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Mawhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. We know why we're here and what's at stake. So let's make it happen. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a sister to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Now, let's show them why! Go! I've got this! I am Earth Not Rex, and this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's get in there!
Morton, is the cure ready? Yes. Loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No. No other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be problematic. Morton, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashell. Crazy, Morden. But you're a hell of a scientist. Glad you realize it. Why I had to be here. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> I've studied species Turian, Asarian, Batarian. Temperature now within acceptable range. Dispersal commencing. <laughs> My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a... A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place, his own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him, right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to, animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He told me he had to do it. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. He got it right for everyone. A thousand years from now, we'll probably be singing songs about him. <laughs> I'm sure he'd like that. But you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnat Bakara calls you a friend. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. 
Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, heard not Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together, or die. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? It's fine. Tell me what's going on. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander. Can I help you, Counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak-minded Counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Solarians down the sewage pipe. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the Genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. It's not a wildfire, it's the death of the galaxy. Drum that into your people's heads. They'll follow you. A short-term solution, but the short-term may be all we have. Has a ring to it. But that is not the only reason I contacted you. The other regards humanity's counselor, Udina. We need to talk about his activities. The less than legal ones. Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Ishil out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcom. Shepard, something you need to talk about? Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Heard not Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, 
But the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thassia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Do you know anything about the Hanar and Drell? Their luck is holding. For now, the Reapers have avoided a direct invasion of that sector. Though we've heard Drell wet work teams are mobilizing fast to shore up their border with the Solarians. I knew a Drell. The Reapers don't want to tangle with them. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? The good news is we're managing to win in some sectors. The bad news is we're losing in others. I'm encouraged by our order of battle, though. It seems to be working. We just need to stick to it and pick up the pace. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom in Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnar Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. 
<laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. I gotta respect the classics. How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. If not for him, we wouldn't have the Krogan Alliance. He'll have a hell of a tombstone. Cured the genophage, with a little asterisk, and then at the bottom it'll say, which he also created. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. To be honest, I did it so the Krogan would help your people. And believe me, it won't be forgotten. Our fleets will be there for Earth. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I'd be lying if I said I didn't consider it. Anyone would have second thoughts about the Krogan. They just better remember you didn't act on it and return the favor. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Gabby, is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. <sighs> if only my imagination was that good. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Nothing to report.
Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Maybe. Or maybe you'd still be a soldier. I do wonder sometimes. Living a life of constant war, taking life in every battle. Does it get to you? It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor, and we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Jennifer H. Cure, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Reckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? We all know our history, but this isn't 1400 years ago. But if the genophage is gone, what makes these Krogan different from the ones that rebelled? The Krogan have no warships. If the Reapers focus on them, they could be wiped out. Combining their infantry with the Turian fleet is a huge asset, and both parties know it. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to Command for approval. Commander.
Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. The Genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? There is new information on the private messages terminal. Hello, Commander. They just don't make them like this anymore, Shepard. Thank you.